Every hip hop fan knows Eminem has dropped some of the best rap albums of all time. There's often debate between Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, and the Eminem show. However, after those three, there's often debate about what's good from Eminem and what's bad from him. Some of the albums are widely loved, like Recovery, but some of them are widely hated, like Revival. But I think the most controversial album would be Encore. Encore and Relapse both kind of have that controversial side to it where people either love it or they hate it, but I think Encore is more divided. When you look through Encore's track list, you have these first couple tracks that are amazing Evil Deeds, Never Enough, Yellow Brick road like toy soldiers and mosh those are all good songs but then you get into the middle of the album and you have songs like puke my first single the paul skit rain man big weenie just lose it another skit just some pretty bad songs in general some people think they're funny but i think if you're looking for more funny songs the slim shady lp does it way better but then it gets interesting again because after those you have spend some time mockingbird crazy and love all those are amazing one shot two shot and then some of the bonus tracks to encore are also amazing so if you can go from the peaks of encore and the peaks of the eminem show to songs like puke and just lose it how does that even happen well it turns out a lot of encore got leaked before it was ever released when music or any sort of media gets leaked it basically means the public gets it before the artist wants it out so how it often happened back then was people would post it up to limewire napster or even youtube at some points and then anyone could just download it put it onto a cd put it onto a thumb drive upload it to whatever they want their ipod and then you have the artist's original work without paying for it and sometimes they don't even know that you have it now this has been very common with a lot of music in general these past couple years artists like playboy cardi trippy red they've had some full albums leaked start to finish and all it does is make the artist have to restart it takes longer for the actual music to come out because they have to re-record it oftentimes yeah the whole thing becomes a mess but that brings us back to encore because my first single rain man big weenie just lose it some of those songs were not intended to be on encore but they were thrown on there to replace some of the songs that got leaked we'll talk about the ones that were leaked in a minute now i know right here i'm referring to a reddit post but this is widely agreed on by the eminem community and it talks about how eminem's songs from encore are leaked we as americans and love you more were both thrown onto the deluxe album of encore but they originally had different names we are americans and i love you were the names of the songs but this is where it gets a little bit interesting because we don't know the exact songs that were intended to be on encore but we have a general idea songs like monkey see monkey do the can Cannabis Dis, Bully, Do Re Mi, and a couple other songs. We know they came from the Encore time period, but there's no way to know if they were going to ever be released, if they were going to be on Encore, if they were going to be a bonus track or a single later on. We don't know that exactly, but we do know that some of these tracks getting leaked is what caused Encore to be so inconsistent, because you just had to fill in the songs that were leaked to make sure that everything wasn't heard before. It's definitely an interesting situation to think about, because if you had songs like Big Weenie, Rain Man, Puke, my first single and they were replaced with like monkey see monkey do bully some of those good leaked songs that we have from that time period that you've probably heard before on youtube or something where would you rank encore then because it really feels like it would be another classic it'd be like the eminem show part two and if that situation is what played out it'd be a lot harder for me to critique encore people know on this channel i often critique encore but it's just about those tracks that were leaked and replaced i honestly feel like if they weren't leaked and replaced that it would end up being an amazing album because some of the peaks of encore were already amazing songs like mockingbird yellow brick road like toy soldiers are widely known as some of eminem's best work and that's what i hear a lot of people arguing in the comments when they talk about encore being a good album and it's just hard it's hard to rank encore because it's so amazing in some parts and then it's so bad in other parts but that's kind of where i want your opinion because other people say encore is funny the middle of it's funny where you can tell that he's obviously trolling like he's not trying his hardest on my first single or rain man but let me know down below if you think encore is funny or if you think it's just bad because personally i think that's part of the album is just bad unfortunately that's why it's hard for me to listen to it at least it's hard to listen to it top to bottom but i can skip through it skip that middle section and then it gets good to me again another situation i would have been fine with is if you just cut them out just cut the middle part out cut the leaked songs out and just made it a shorter album i know it might be kind of odd to follow up the eminem show with just a shorter not a mixtape but like a short album but i feel like a lot of people would love to see that with more just consistency more quality over quantity to be honest with you on the encore album but even that has its pros and cons like i kind of just said so let me know your thoughts on that as well another thought i have is the d12 albums that came out around this time i wonder if he was planning to put any of those songs onto encore and if he wasn't why didn't he replace the leaked songs with some of those because there's some songs on like devil's night by d12 that's just eminem like the song girls the diss track i think it would have been cool to see some of those thrown on to replace the leaked songs like i've already said i mean that's what tears the album down that's what's hated about it and anything to change those tracks would completely change my thoughts on encore now this is kind of crazy so the album was from 2004 right 
Eminem has his brother Nate, and people often say that he's the one that leaked it. There's no proof of that. We don't know for sure if Nate leaked it, but it was about two weeks before the album was going to come out that it leaked online, and they had to just move up the release date as quick as they could. Now, as you can imagine, this ruined the release strategy, like the promotion to it. That was all messed up. You've probably seen the encore photos of him holding the weapon. All of that was rushed up, and he still went number one with it. He managed to sell 711,000 copies in three days. Now, I can't really think of any other artist that could do that nowadays. I know it's a little bit different now in the stream era and how much hype Eminem had after his first three albums, specifically Eminem show, that people were going to buy it regardless, right? I mean, it was Eminem, 2004, right in the peak of his hype, but the fact that it was rushed out with the leak and there wasn't the promotion that he wanted, it's surprising that he went number one, to be honest, and I don't know how he sold that many copies that fast. Now, you probably notice a reoccurring word in this video. It's just inconsistency. That's a big problem to me with Encore. You have some amazing songs. You have Yellow Brick Road. I could listen to that back to back all day. That might be one of my favorite songs from Eminem. But then you have Puke, you have my first single, it's just like awful. And that's why people don't really call the album lukewarm. They call it like amazing or awful because there's no in between in this album. People felt like it was trying to focus on the shock value more than just the lyrical substance to an album. And it was disappointing because with the Eminem show, yes, there's shock value, but it was very substance based. You could get a lot from songs like business white america say goodbye to hollywood also during this time he was struggling with his substance abuse now not too much is known about that in encore just the ties that they have together but you can definitely see hints of that throughout the album and there's parts where he doesn't sound like he's in the right mind state at all and fans can notice that i know eminem was definitely stressed in that time and i'm sure getting all the hate from encore while dealing with the leaks while dealing with all the different projects he had going on was just a lot for him at the time now i also have a question because i know there's a lot of eminem fans in my comments the song when i'm gone I always thought When I'm Gone was on Encore, I don't know why. I know it's from the same era, and it was on Curtain Call as well, I believe. But was it ever, like, intended to be on Encore? Was it on, like, a YouTube Encore playlist or something? Or is it just in my head like that for some reason? I don't know. Yeah, let me know if When I'm Gone was intended for Encore. Now, my opinions on Encore. So the top three songs I have are Yellow Brick Road, Like Toy Soldiers, and Mockingbird. I know I kind of said those throughout the video. But my three least favorite would be Puke, My First Single, and Rain Man. Now, let me elaborate on that for a second, because... Puke is bad in general, just the beginning makes me skip it, I can't sit through that. But Rain Man has some funny moments to it, but it also goes over the top in some parts. Rain Man's inconsistent as a song, but the song My First Single, I mean the hook goes, this was supposed to be my first single. I feel like that's just taunting the fans for it being leaked. A song like Bully was supposed to be right where my first single was, but he had to replace it. But yeah, my first single just feels like he's taunting us for the leak. But yeah, the three that I like, I mean, if you've heard the songs, you know why I like them. Mockingbird has all that emotion. Yellow Brick Road is Eminem's story, mentioning the whole tape that got leaked and everything. And then Like Toy Soldiers addressed all the beef that he's been through the past couple years and how he's just tired of it. So yeah, amazing highs and just terrible lows on this album. If you guys want me to make an encore ranking video, so just going through every track, maybe a YouTube short, talking about a song and then saying out of 10, so like Yellow Brick Road, 10 out of 10, something like that, walking through the track list, let me know and I could do that. But yeah, this is my video on Encore. Thank you for watching. If you want more Eminem videos, click right up here. I got a playlist full of them. I got rap videos in general. And if that's something you're interested in, you want to see more Eminem updates, you want to see more rapper updates, albums that are coming out soon, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post on here all the time. And yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out. During this time, he was struggling with his substance abuse. Abuse? What is that?